Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm gonna talk about top 3 best touchscreen monitor. Starting at number 3. HP Elite Display E220T. The HP Elite Display looks and feels a lot like a traditional monitor, which makes it difficult to use as a touchscreen. Unlike the displays in our review with more thoughtful designs, which are light and easy to adjust, the monitor has a stiff neck and a heavy base. On average, the monitor consumes more energy than some of the large touchscreen displays, like the Acer T232HL. Because of this, it costs more to keep the HP Elite display running month to month than some of its more impressive competitors. The display's smooth glass screen surface gave it a little bit of an edge, but the speaker placement and wider bezels keep it from being very touch-friendly. Images appear slightly sharper on this model than its competitors because it has a smaller screen. In addition, it has a response time of 8 milliseconds, which is average compared to the other monitors in our review. Check out the description for more information and latest price. Coming at number 2. Lenovo ThinkVision T2364T. The Lenovo ThinkVision's size is impressive for a touchscreen display. The 22.5-inch screen is larger than average compared to the other models in our review. It is also one of only two monitors in our comparison to have a matte display. Our reviewers generally preferred a glassy surface over a matte one because of how it felt under their fingers. It's generally more comfortable to use over extended periods of time. But a matte screen does reduce glare, a contributor to eye strain, and limits the appearance of smudges and fingerprints. Some users prefer this less reflective option. There are other features that affect the quality of the display, including response time, which measures how quickly individual pixels change color, the gamma score, which measures how well the display creates dimension in videos and photos, and pixel pitch, which is a measurement that indicates the display's sharpness and clarity. These were all average on the Lenovo ThinkVision. The Lenovo ThinkVision T2364T didn't make it in our top 3 picks, mostly because it is so hard to adjust. Still, it has great color accuracy straight out of the box, which is useful for both professional and casual users. In addition, its large screen makes using desktop applications easier, and its matte screen surface can help prevent eye strain. And number 1 of this list. Dell P2418 HT. The Dell P2418 HT looks more like a traditional monitor than some of the other touchscreens we tested. While we would normally consider this a downside, the upright stand has a very flexible arm. Out of the box, it required a little more setup than some of the A-frame stands we tested, but the extra flexibility more than made up for the slightly longer assembly time. The monitor comes with a panel that conceals the various ports on the back, but because of the display's neck and arm, they are a little difficult to access. The upright neck has a hole, which works as a cord organization system. While its ports are hard to reach, the Dell P2418 HT is one of the most connectable monitors in our comparison. This model has both an HDMI and display port as well as three USB 3.0 ports, which download files at a much higher speed than older USB 2.0 connections. Dell's P2318 HD employs several creative solutions to design problems typical of touchscreen monitors. In many ways, this model offers a very different experience than its competitors, and with a few minor adjustments, it might have found its place at the top of our lineup. All of these items are available on Amazon.com. I have included all the links.